Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous tumors in the uterus. When researching the subject, it always comes up as the cause is unknown. Research suggests it could be genetic, age, nutritional deficiencies, it could be hormone imbalances, excessive alcohol consumption. Let's talk about the hormone imbalance and the nutritional deficiency aspect of this. The endocrine system is made up of several organs called glands, and they're listed right here. We're talking about hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal, the, the pineal, ovaries, testes. We're striking the balls because we are talking about uteruses. The imbalance of hormones is an issue with the endocrine's feedback system. Its main job is to keep the body in perfect balance. Okay, so what's the cause of this imbalance? Food-like substances, and I'm talking the packaged foods, preserved foods, high in sugar foods, low in vitamin and minerals. So this is going to leave your body in a deficient state. Every single cell in the body needs those vitamins and minerals. And if you think about three to six meals a day to having little, none of those vitamins and minerals, some type of imbalance is going to start. And then an issue is going to pop up. Every single cell in the body needs those proteins, minerals, vitamins, water. They need that substance in order to survive, in order to thrive. Everything we put in our body will travel down into the small intestines, get transported through the blood and into the cells. So that means every single thing that you put in your body ends up in the cells one way, shape or another. And this is why it's vital for our cells to get our minerals, vitamins, moisture, which is water. We need UV light. We need a pH balance, not acidic, not too alkaline, obviously heat, and we need our oxygen. It's a perfect balance. Also, commercial skincare products contain harmful chemicals. I mean, look at this. So you shower, you use shampoo, conditioner, body wash, leave-in conditioner if you're fancy. You're using lotion afterwards, a face moisturizer, maybe a deodorant. Do this routine every day. Plus add your three to six meals of food-like substances. Do this over months and years. And we're talking at some point, something in your body is going to come forth. So what can we do about this? Consume vitamins and minerals, your proteins, get your sunlight, get your sleep. I mean, again, it's a balance. If you do this, the inflammation will stop and the issues will stop.